We got all kinds of stuff in from Lazada today. All right. Help her out, Maria. All right, what's that? Oh, yeah, let Papa see that one. Uh, open it up for me, then let Papa see it. That's going to keep Papa from getting burned over here. Yeah. Look at that, folks. Simplicity, I know. I'm impressed by simplicity, but... I mean, this thing, look, this thing's a great burner, but it's just so difficult to get it going these days. Again, it's... Because we left it out in the rain, we were cooking in the rain, we used and abused it, and it's not its not meant to be out in the elements. But all of our gear, we don't baby. And so anyhow, this thing right here is gonna help Papa from getting burnt. Of course, G, you got the Tarzan look going on, man. All right, folks, I ordered this coffee. This is, uh, I guess from RFT, I think it's supposed to be, yeah, it's from Baguio. Anyhow, just to try out because I got a coffee pot coming and hopefully it's in one of those boxes. That's macadamia, hazelnut vanilla. It looks like they threw in a free vanilla. Oh, look at that, so cute. Thank you. Yeah, how many boxes is that thing in? You got my coffee pot? Uh, right here. Oh my goodness. That's so cute. I couldn't decide which one to go with. They just said how many cups it made. And I said, well, it's probably just me and the old lady drink a cup a piece. So I went with the smallest one. Look how cute that is. There we go. There's my new little coffee pot. Ah, you can't get any cuter than that. It's got a little wood handle. And it's a percolator. How many cups? It says six cups. So six cups. And again, it's a percolator. Put the coffee grounds in there, the top on top, put it on the fire, let it percolate. Maria, that's almost the size for you to have a tea party. All right, it seemed like pretty good quality, folks. This is from uh, Chef's, mm. Chef's Classics. And the reason I went with this, because we've been getting up really early these days. Daddy, yep, coffee. Papa's coffee. Papa, Toby. Coffee, yes, ma'am. But we've been getting up. Uh-huh. Man, we've been getting up so early. We've been going to bed early, getting up early. I mean, it's dark when we get up. I said, you know what? I need some coffee in the morning instead of starting my day off with a beer. I'm going to change it up. And that is just too cute. I'm glad I didn't get the big one. That damn thing's so cute. You put that in the backpack, no problem. For the longest time, we used a little portable burner. Here, open it up, sweetie. There we go. Oh, wow. You got a free bag with it, Fatima. You got a free eco bag to go to the market with. Here, check it out. Nice bag, huh? So anyhow, for the longest time, we cooked on one of these little portable burners. Never had a problem with it. You know, ended up giving it away. Now uh, this thing, yep, this is for loot though. And folks, this thing was only, uh, just say $12. 12 US dollars, and you can hook the thing, that'll take the small little butane bottles. Let me just set it here. It'll take the little small bottles, you know, portable, but they don't last very long. They're just good for camping. But you can uh, hook the big tank onto that right there. You can do either one. And so I said, you know what? We've been having problems with our big burner over there. So for 12 bucks, here's a brand new one. This is by Golden Wing. I don't know if it's made in China, South Korea. The other one we had was supposedly from South Korea. But there you go, just a little simple burner. And that's so much easier to turn than those big things over there. There you go, latest piece 
of kitchen weaponry. All right, so here's the thing. Already, right away, my new teapot don't fit on there. So let's come over here and see if it fits on here. On these trivets. And it does, but it don't. That's just too, too small. Oh my gosh, this one looks worse than the darn motorized tricycle. This is a pedal tricycle. Man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to pay the guard to put this together. There's like a pile of parts there. My goodness. That's the bad news on this tricycle is there's no uh, instruction manual. I'll figure it out in a little bit, baby. One says for you, one says for princess. No. Which ones you want to no. give the princess? Don't get jealous. Which ones are princess? Which ones for no. you? Honey, you're starting to get jealous. Yeah! Yeah! They're comfortable? Yeah. I'll right, walk out through there. Let's see how they look. Maybe they're too small. No. If they're too small, you give them the princess. No. Now this is supposedly bamboo. It's charcoal made out of bamboo. I don't think I've tried this before. I think the, the ones I tried before were made out of uh, uh, coconut shells, crushed coconut shells. This charcoal, they said, is bamboo. It's shaped different and smells different. I wasn't impressed by the, uh, the coconut shells. But you know, I'll give this a try. It was it was fairly cheap. I think a couple bucks a box. And I said, you know what? Let's let's try it out. I got rave reviews. We'll see. Yeah, fits right right under there, real nicely. Yes, yeah, sweetie girl. Oh, thank you very much, sweetie. Okay, well, you put my sweater, sweetie. Thank you. It's real nicely down there. And this is the uh, regular charcoal that we buy. Ran out, so she just went up to the Sorry Sorry store. Got a couple bags, but I think we'll be in business for a while. Look at that. We got a free set of toothpicks. Baby, did that come in the charcoal? All right, so those are bamboo toothpicks with the bamboo charcoal. Awesome. That was a nice surprise. What, baby? Coffee soup smells good. Smells good? Yeah, it's vanilla. Like it. All right. Well, I'm about to make up a batch. Vanilla. All right, so where there's a will, there's a way. I'll just use this little thing right here. This charcoal grate. Is that right there? Put that bad boy. Well, you know what? Flip it over. It should lock in. Look at that. Look at that. Locks in. Like an absolute champion. Shoot, maybe I should use that more often. And then I can just set. My little coffee pot right there. And the key to it is to only use that little metal burner so I don't burn the wood handle with the outer ring. So I'll set it like right there. All right, so we'll come over here and wash this thing out first. Right, Papa gonna rinse it out, sweetie. We're gonna rinse it out. You know what, we'll take it in the kitchen and give it a proper cleaning first. Be cheap about it, so you can't show them faster. Thank you. Do I have an inside line? Yeah, it's good. Let's see. More. A little bit more, sweetie. Yeah. More? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. A little bit more. Okay, there's good. Thank you. 
All right, so I filled it up to the six cup mark. Bring this dude over here. I've never messed with one of these before, but there's your stem. Okay, obviously the stem's hollow. All you, all you do is put, put the basket on there. We put the coffee in here, put that on top. So let's get the coffee. All right, I'm gonna try out the, uh, the hazelnut vanilla. There we go, let me take a smell. Oh my goodness, that smells rich. Mmm, she went lying, that's gonna be delicious. So put this bad boy down in here. Like so. And this is all trial and error. I don't know exactly how much I should put. I'm putting six cups. That's probably, what, three spoonfuls? Somewhere in there. Just a good, generous amount, I would say. I don't know, maybe it's not enough. Like I said, I don't, I'm not gonna know. It's trial and error, it's just like messing around with this here smoker. And all I do is close that up, and then it's gonna start percolating up in there, and then give it like five minutes of brewing time, and it's ready. All right, I'm sorry, little uh, broom bristle. I used to light to get this thing to light, but now I got a proper lighter. Let's see if we can get a tune out of this trombone today. Not blow ourselves up. Oh yeah, it's much easier. You know, burning the hair off my own, my eyebrows. There we go. Beautiful. Here we go, little dude. Get right on there and start percolating. And again, just make sure you get the wood handle sort of out of the line of fire where we don't burn that thing up. Okay, sweetie. That's okay. That was your balloon. There we go. Now she's percolating. I just set a timer for five minutes. Once it starts percolating, I think that's about right. I think you say four to eight minutes, whatever. Set it for five minutes. Because if you let it run and let it run, it'll start recirculating the good coffee. It'll be bitter, what have you. That's what they say. All right, folks, it's been percolating for a full, solid five minutes. We'll go ahead and just kill the gas on it. <laughs> Good job, sweetie. What I'm gonna do, let the ground settle. You know, some people talk about how the grounds fall through and they put a coffee filter in there. I didn't put a coffee filter. So obviously, probably some of the grounds fell through. Yeah, you could pour some cold water in there. You can do this, you can do that. Just, I'll just let it sit for a few minutes. Let it cool down anyhow. Let's just see what it looks like here. Oh, yeah, look at that, folks. My goodness, that looks like some rich coffee. Yes, sweetie girl? Yeah? That is, that is, I mean, that's really rich. Maybe I put too much coffee. I think the five minute brew time is reasonable. Mm, mm -mm. That thing is a champion. All right, baby, what you want in yours? A little brown sugar and milk? Huh? All right, let's see what we got here. How much you want? About that much? No, that's a little too. I tell you what, you know what? You make yours, I'll make mine, okay? That's good. That's good. I'm gonna put a couple of scoops of brown sugar in mine. That's it. I was gonna make coffee for you, but you're too damn picky, and all you do is complain. So I'll make mine, you make yours, everybody wins. Let's see, Best Buy 24. Do the smell test. A little bit of milk there. 
All right, baby, here's your spoon. Go to town, honey. Mmm, let's turn mine into a cappuccino. All right, baby, tell us how it tastes. What it tastes like. I don't know. <laughs> good or no good? All right, figure out what the problem was. We both put too much milk. That's all right. Yeah. Just fill it on up with a coffee. A little bit, a little bit too much milk in there on both our parts. How's it taste now? Tastes good now. All right, so we, that's all we did. We just put way too much milk. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's take a taster here. I need one more sugar in mine, if you don't mind. All about trial and error, folks. This ain't Starbucks. That's good right there. It's about trial and error. Put too much milk, not enough sugar. I think two. Well, I don't know. I should have tried it when it was just black, just to make sure I had the brew time down. All right, folks. The, the verdict is the coffee's delicious, but this milk right here is no good. So tomorrow we'll scrap that. Maybe get some different type of creamer or milk to go in it. Creamer is nice. Yeah, we get some creamer. But uh, we'll get that milk out of here. All right, so nothing like starting your day off with a true cup of coffee. I usually never drink real coffee. It's just that three-in-one mix that you get over here. It's pretty good, but it's sort of like just a different flavor of hot chocolate. So this is going to be nice every morning. Every morning when I get up and it's still dark, come out here. And enjoy the mornings. Get me going instead of drinking two, three cans of beer before the sun comes up. Oh, yeah, that's good. I think for good measure, I'll increase the time to six minutes. Six minutes, and uh, definitely don't use the cowhead milk on your coffee. You folks have deemed this thing unsafe for the kingdom. You know, whatever the trike drivers, or, or excuse me, whatever the uh, trash guy does with it, that's up to him. But I don't recommend you buy these cheap, cheap tricycles off the Zada. It's just a death trap. Just set it out there, honey, by the trash. Yeah, that's the that's the best place for it, right there. Goodbye. But you might that might seem like a waste. I mean, it's, it's a waste of a twenty dollar bill if it was that much. But here's the thing, you get a toy, you evaluate it, and it just looked like, for me, it looked like stitches, broken bone, hospital trip, frustration, it's out of here. What the trash guys do with it, that's up to them, that's on them, and their responsibility is, as parents, if they want to take it home to their kids and let them play with it. But my kids, it's out of here. See ya. Don't buy cheap tricycles off Lazada. It just, um, accident waiting to happen. Here we go, Swinny. We're gonna ride this one. That other one has left the building. Here, get the motorbike, here. All right, take off, Swinny. <laughs> Son, are you gonna throw your mama's jacket into the rabbit pen? Let's see what else you threw over here. Okay, just some shoes today. Good job, babies. Honey, you've been sewing all day, fixing the baby's clothes. Literally, she has not played Facebook since this morning. I haven't heard any roosters. Look at her. She's fixing the, the baby's clothes. Or whose are those? those Mine, are I already finished it for You finished all the babies? Honey, are you nesting? Are you Buntus and you're nesting? Papa. <laughs> huh? God. Make me want to bake some chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Alright folks, making some of a nightly barbecue here. Man, I'm just loving this little coffee pot here. 
I might make some after dinner coffee for me and wife number two. That thing's just so damn cute. Working with a Jim Beam and Coke. Skimping on the ice because the old lady always forgets to make ice for me. At least she's got my grill cleaned out. Now I took this, uh, again, I took this charcoal grate and I'll put it over here and see it locks in on that trivet so it ain't going nowhere. And that'll help keep my little coffee pot from falling through. All right, let's come down here. Which one I got open here? Man, look at this, fucks. I got all kinds of stuff. I can't keep that eco bag there. It's going to melt. All right, there's the cleaner. Coconut chopper. Temperature control device. My welding gloves. Let me get these uh, bamboo. We're going with the bamboo charcoal briquettes tonight. I ain't messing around. Question is, where is the charcoal chimney? I don't see it. Ah, here it is, right here. Oh, hold on a sec. Let's see what wife number two wants. Did you see the seven? Did I see the seven? Yeah. It's not, the number is not complete. Oh, uh, from the cards? Yeah. No, the seven was there. Well, it's not there. Uh, somebody, maybe Maria hit it. Check her, make sure she's not playing jokes on the force, G. Force G, where's the seven, buddy? Papa saw the seven, so if it's not here, that means your sister's playing a joke on you again. It's not in here. Got them the writing notebooks, one for Forrest G, one for Maria. Papa, find it, buddy. I think your sister hid it from you, man. She's playing a joke again. All right, so I don't know how many of these things I'm gonna need. So I just throw them in here. I want to set them up like that. Nah, if I set them like that, they got airflow coming through there. A couple of them here going on. Might be too much. The rest of them go in the charcoal chimney here. Pretty cool. I guess I could have put my glove on. Keep from getting charcoal all over me. Look at her. Good thing about these, they don't fall through the grate. A couple more. Look at that perfect stock. They even come in a nice cardboard box, which I can use these to help start the fire. And I can also use them as a fan. All right. Yes, sweetie girl. Sweetie, where's the number seven for brother's cards? Can you go find it, please? Where'd you put the number seven from brother? Where's the number seven? Please go get it for brother. Here we go, Force G. Here's number seven, son. Okay, that's 13. Get your number three over there. There you go. One, two. Papa probably needs to take out the teens because you're getting confused with the teens. Let Papa take out the teens. Get your three. Papa take the 11, the 20, the 12. Folks, the longer you use a piece of gear, like now I don't set this thing on the ground. I just shove it right in there and just put some paper underneath it. It don't have to be perfect. Just give you a game of what I'm doing here. That heat will go up through there. But now I don't have to worry about putting it on the ground. I just shove it right there. Right now we get a pin out of this here trombone. Without getting all burnt up like you usually do while well, I'm trying to hold a phone and do it. Let's see if I can hold a phone and not blow myself up. Oh! <laughs> I can't win for losing with this thing. My gosh. What can I do? Turn that bad boy down just a little bit. Get them noodles going. Bit of food. Folks, it's taking these bamboo things a while to get going. Now I remember the last ones I bought like this. They're basically like whole logs. If you don't split them up, 
takes forever for these things to get going, but the other way is it just takes some regular charcoal. So you use the regular charcoal like kindling. You know, starting a fire. This is like kindling. And those things right there are like whole logs. I remember now. It takes some things a long time to get going, but they last a long time. Dragon. This time I'm trying not to drop these coals on my feet. Oh yeah, look at that. Like a champion. Old Chevy commercials. Like a rock. Put this dude back in there. Right there. I ain't got nothing to clean up. I don't got no coals on the ground. Alright, and that is gonna be some kind of hot. Ain't no doubt about that. Oh yeah. trying to film in this award winning cooking show. There we go. Grease all over the iPhone. And once this little dragon right here cools off, I'll just put him over here, just out of the way. Take that dude right here, close him up. And this is, you know, how regular regulate the tent if you want it wide open, open it up. If not, you just leave that little damper right there open. It'll suck enough air through. Hey, is there a reason? Is there a reason that you're giving me a little massage? What's going on? Where's my phone? It's uh, it's it's close. Go a little. Oh, oh, a little, a little lower, baby. Hey, stay. Where's my phone? All right, you're close. Look, I, a little bit lower. I'm sure it's down there somewhere. Check one more time. Ah, girl. whoa, now. Where's my phone? I don't have your phone. You're the only one in here. Honey, I put in your the phone table. is not on my person. You've already checked. Well, keep checking there. <laughs> yeah, check, uh, just a couple more times. You want ice, right? Yeah, I want some ice, but don't jack up my Yeti cup. Don't get charcoal on my ice. This is already uh, there's still a water in there. We just pop the top. The top layer is ice. I nah, don't hit the sides. There you go, right there. That's so all you gotta it's do. Still a water. Hey, you know what? Just give me them two little pieces of ice to cool off my coat. Since you never remember to make me any ice. She's looking for a foam machine. Never gonna find it. You're, you're cold, baby. You're cold. Top rack in for bake mode. Certainly, anything's gonna cook quick. The fat man back there, right over that heat. Slippery trying to hold an iPhone, slippery ass bowl. 
There we go. And water out. Come back in here. Push that over there out of the way. So I'm gonna put this can of uh, cream of chicken soup in there. Folks, these things are cooking something quickly. You cannot take your eye off the nice grill because that temp is up there so high. If I take one little break and take my eye off these wings, they're going to burn. Even that fat man right there, all that juice, all that extra water weight on his ass. Oh my goodness, even this one, even this chubby one right here. Man, they're cooking quick over this bamboo. Can I do? Oh, oh, shit. All right, last little mishap right here. Down into the hot water. Luckily, nobody was injured, but it was a close one. All right, anyhow, let's get back down to business. Oh, shoot. Now I gotta let that shit cool off. They gonna pop one handed talent that Gordon Ramsay he never thought about. Oh no. Come over in here. Oh yeah. Alright. That's what you use for a napkin here in the Philippines. Your t shirt. Back on the welding glove. Look at that one-handed operation. I'm telling you, you see the cooking in record time. I can't be messing around. All these crazy mishaps on my cooking show. Never a dull moment when I'm cooking chicken with you, that's for sure. Come over here. Stir this around. Take a little bit of this water. A little bit of that water back in there. Just a little. There we go. Not too much. Alright. Now, try to get this thing back on. I'm blowing myself up with the iPhone again. The problem is coordinated operation I turn it on low and the low ain't working oh shit this motherfucker is a widow maker I forget it the good thing is the live 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker retains enough heat I don't really need to cut it back on I'm hard time to get these bad boys in bake mode before they start burning Top grate for this. Burn this up. There we go. Got it in place. Leave the fat man down below. There we go. Leave the fat man down below. But like this cat right here, he's got to go in bake mode. He's, he's getting pretty light, which means all the moisture has left the building. The dude over there. That's kind of chubby. That one's probably ready for bake mode. Go. Oh yeah, come to Big Daddy. Placeholder, little pot holder there. Not like a welding glove, folks. Like I said, if you're not cooking with a welding glove, you're probably burning your your fingers. Cause then welding glove, I'm like Superman. Can't nothing burn me. Not even kryptonite. Got going on here. They almost done. They are almost done. Look at that. My gosh. The bamboo charcoal. They putting out the heat. They are bringing the boom. Here comes the boom with the bamboo briquettes. I'm digging them. They just a little bit harder to get started. But you know what? What I'm gonna do since they don't fall through is I'm just gonna start them over here. The reason I wasn't starting them over here 
too many times because a small piece of charcoal will fall down in the grate and you know get the dust in there but the big pieces aren't going to fall through so i just fill up the charcoal chimney put them here on the big mag daddy fire it up straight to the grill bypass the paper jim beam coat and delicious oh my god the old lady she don't understand the importance of ice after years of living with the dog just don't think about me she thinks about rice but not my ice my gosh the stress i'm under Oh, damn wings. These wings are almost done. I'll bring wife number two out here. She's always picky about the uh, how, how her wings are finished off. What you think, baby? What you think, darling? Huh? This one ready? No, this one. Which one? This one. This one. It's done or no? Put them in bake mode if he's burning. beautiful lady right here you may proceed baby because you're looking absolutely stunning she always claims i burn stuff but then she comes in there and puts it from bake mode back on the hot coals it ends up burning my chicken wings honey why you always want to burn my chicken wings huh i ain't never burned nothing in my culinary career Oh my god, that's a big one. How's that macaroni? Delicious? Why not? Well, it needs some salt. If it's burned now, it's your, it's your fault. Look at this, folks. I told you. you. You come over here and you take over my barbecue grill, you burn my chicken wings. Why did you take them down from bake mode? If you put them in bake mode, they don't burn, baby. Me, I don't like it the way you are doing. Well, then guess what? You're beautiful, baby. Mm -hmm. You're beautiful, but the wings, you burn my chicken wings. After all this hard work I put in, you burn my wings, beautiful girl. Folks, look at this beautiful Filipina. My gosh. Baby, milk does a body good. Beautiful, honey. Don't ever cut your hair. The only way you can cut your hair is if you just shave your head like Sinead O'Connor. Okay, let's do it together. I'm down with that. Yep, you burn them, baby. No. Maria, Mama Tima, burn the wings, sweetie. No. Let's put a few slices of toast on there. Hey, baby girl, get that butter out of my beer ref. All right, let me put some bread on here. Oh, that's good fresh bread right there, it's baby. Enough. One, two, it's enough. three. Just toast that a little bit, put some butter on it. Mm, mm, mm. Got proper butter now. Daddy. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm impressed. Oh, look at that, how beautiful. I'm impressed with the bamboo charcoal briquettes. Look at them, they haven't even got started. That dude wasn't lying. You could probably cook for another three hours on them things. So I put too many in there for sure. Dinny in the door. That's enough. Peace and a trade of that. Cocaine and some whores. Did I say that? There we go. All right, babe, put some butter on there. Put some butter on there, honey. Let's get it. Yeah, spread it, baby. Put a little bit more. Spread it out there. You're doing a great job. Why you got lipstick on your wrist? Is that some superstition or what, what's going on here? All right, sweetie. Let Papa get you a good chicken wing here. Mm, that was a little. There you go. Get your chicken wing. There you go, sweetie girl. Now hold on. Go get some macaroni for you here. Get your plate over here. Papa scoop out some of this delicious 
Yep, macaroni. Why well, tell us? It's my in it now. It's hot, okay? You gotta let it cool off, okay? Hold on, Papa, get you some juice down there. Here we go. No, Hold on. Get Mama, you a piece of bread. Mama, Mama, there you go. You got chicken? No. Papa Luto. Mama, Tima, Honey, Mama Tima, all she did was burn the chicken wings. Papa Luto, Masa Rapti Ba. Okay, sweetie, my in it. Let it cool, okay? Well, let it no. cool just a little bit. No, Daddy, in it. Yes, yeah, sweetie, this is my in it. You can try it, but it's too my in it for a little girl, sweetie. See, Racha sauce, folks. Daddy, no. Would you do it? Papa liked the my in it though. How you say spicy, baby? Silly? Mang hung. Mang hung. sweetie. Good old seed bratcha sauce. All right, folks, here we go. Take a taste of my own medicine. Ooh, been sweating over that grill. That thing. Oh my God, the temperature on that grill is off the chart. It's off the chart. It ain't never went that high. Those bamboo briquettes are pretty awesome. And they stack real well down there in those boxes. They don't make a mess. I'm gonna order some more of that off of Lazada. All right, first of all, let's start with the cream of chicken noodles. Mmm, delicious for me. Could use some salt. I didn't put any salt in there because usually a lot of salt in those things and cans. Mmm, mmm. Got that smoky barbecue flavor. No. That butter. Check out that wing. Now, wife number one. Well, the former wife number one. The wife number two. Charbro on my wings. Mmm. Take a gander at that cross section. Put a little sea racha sauce on there. Look what that temperature's holding at. Damn. About 400, almost 425 degrees. Folks, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me on today's video. I know I've been laying low around the crib for the past few days, past week, whatever. But, um, you know, you probably heard my voice a little stopped up, a little bit of cough. I think I had like a 48 hour uh, flow around the Omnivore going on. But I'm recovering now, straight. But I wanna thank you for watching the videos, staying with us because of you. I, you allow me to live this lifestyle. I certainly appreciate it. We certainly appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, bottom right hand corner of your screen, hit that overstay road sign. Get on board my train, my friends. And if you notice, we moved the swimming pool over here. It is now a dedicated ball pit. You know why? Because this thing is too damn big to have to clean out every two or three days with water in it. Ain't that right, baby? Yeah, no, I'm tired of cleaning it. She said she's tired of cleaning it. We said, all right, this is a ball pit. And we'll get a small swimming pool to go out here that's easier to clean. My goodness. Anyhow, folks, thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.